triple one eighties. All right, so what we've got here is a rapid strike motor and loom kit. Um, this is specifically a Extreme Pro 180 um, setup, but with the difference, it's got a Keg 180 pusher motor. In all our rapid strike kits, we have got a Rhino motor as a pusher motor. Um, so this is a bit of a bit of a custom setup. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna test this um, loom and motor kit. Um, as always, always use alkaline batteries for the initial tests. Um, do not ever use a LiPo or any other battery pack for that matter. Um, if you do, if you've done a mistake in your wiring and there's a short, they can vent, they will vent, and, and they can explode in your face. So for safety reasons, do not use a battery pack for testing. Um, we've got the four AA batteries here and we've got them hooked up to the um, XT60 connector. So we're gonna give this one a test, make sure everything's working okay. Um, I've got some extra wires here. I'm gonna hook up a, um, a voltmeter to that eventually. Um, we've got the, uh, the rev trigger here, rev trigger switch, firing trigger switch, and this is the pusher cutout switch. Um, of course, we've got flywheel motors here, pusher motor, um, and that's about it. So as you can see, when we press the rev trigger, that's actually spinning the flywheels and the push motor because this switch is not switched um, because this is open at the moment it's actually saying that the pusher is extended so it's actually driving the pusher motor to get the pusher back to the retracted position so you'll see as it's extended it comes back and then when it trips this cutout switch this will turn off so the pusher comes back trips this switch and you can see the pusher the pusher stops um, and then you can can let go um, so in a, in a normal situation you've got the the pusher is retracted so that switch is made so now you would start revering your flywheels then you would press the firing trigger and you'll notice the pusher will start spinning to activate the pusher to start firing the dart so it's spinning then the next thing is the pusher is extended, so this switch becomes open. So the, the pusher is extending, and as you let go of the firing trigger, it still sees it extended, and as it comes back, as it comes back to the retracted position, it will trip this switch again and stop the pusher. So once again, you're revving, firing, starts the pusher motor, it lets go of the switch as it extends, you let go of the firing trigger, the, the push is still extended, and as it comes back to the home position, it will trip the switch again and stop the pusher motor. So this all happens very quickly of course, but um, we're using double A's and we're, we're using using my fingers as a as a um, tripping mechanism, so that's basically how the, how the cycle works. So um, this loom and motor kit seems to be working quite fine. So, um, so we'll be able to install that. All right, so we've got our Rapid Strike Stage 3 kit all installed in the Rapid Strike. Um, the, the way that we wire up our looms is you can't, you can't fire, you can't, the pusher won't work unless the rev trigger is pressed and that just avoids um, pushing darts into stationary flywheels so um, so you can only push darts when the um, when the flywheels are spinning for example it doesn't push like that as soon as you start revving you can start start pushing and so forth so yeah as you can see revving pushing darts and you can even see with the, even just the slightest press, um, you can see how the cutout switch works. So it, it extends out and by the time it's about here, we let go and it cycles all the way back by itself. And as soon as it trips this switch, it, um, it cuts out the pusher. So if you can look quickly. It's 
So we've got double A's on this, so it's acting a bit slower, but yeah, with the lipo, um, it completes the whole circle cycle pretty quick. So it's when the cutout switch is activated, that's when it activates the, the motor braking. So yeah, with the, with the double A's, of course, if we're just doing it really quick, it, it's still in that braking cycle. So um, once we get past that, that's when it, when, it, when it disengages this switch, it does a complete cycle and come back, comes back and breaks again. Um, okay, so that, that's pretty much it. That's all working good. Um, I'll turn this light off and you can see our um, jam door um, operating the, the voltmeter. So as soon as you open up your jam door, it activates a voltmeter. So that's looking at the four, four AA batteries at the moment. Um, when you close the, the door again, turns it off, open the jam door, turns it on. So that's really a handy feature um, using the, the existing um, jam door switch. And the, the jam door switch should always be reinstalled because it, if you don't and you, you're revving, revving your, um, your blaster or using it in a, in a war in a game, it can actually vibrate open so that that just helps as a stopper to stop that jam door opening so thank you very much triple 180s